Yikes. Yeah, so well, bad. yeah. I mean, you got it was Weenie Wednesday when we went, and, yeah. I, and I devoured some chili hot dogs. I so. had myself a pimento cheese. Mm. It's also delightful. And they have that every day of the week. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So good. Let's take it out. Bye, guys. See you next time. What's up, Woodford? We're downtown Versailles today at Cornerstone Pharmacy and Grill. Guys, I'm joined with two familiar faces, Miss Robin Reed and Lola. Guys, you guys have been a true cornerstone to not only Versailles, but Woodford County as a whole for many years. Can you tell us about your history here? Well, Robin's been here a lifetime. 1987. 1987 is when she started here. She worked for all the people before us. We have now owned it for 21 years. What happened was they were going out of business, and Robin needed a job. <laughs> so our parents said, let's purchase it, let's get it going, and me and Robin have been here ever since. And Dr. Markham, our Robin's significant other, is our other partner. He's kind of a quiet guy. But uh, he supports us and everything too when making decisions on what we have to do. So we've been we've been here a long time. We support the community. We've been here all of our life. We were born and raised here. Went to school here. Our children went to school here, and we're a part of this community. You're staples to the community yeah. for sure. They talk about not only are they truly family, but this whole place here, everybody that works here, is part of the family. Can you talk a little bit about why that is so important to the culture? Well, they're not employees. They are family. They've been here with us for, Dixie's been here 21 years. She's from the start. Um, Kelly has been here. She's one of the pharmacists. She's been here for 15 years. Um, we've just got longevity with all of our people. Yeah. And we've got, everybody stays when they come here because we do treat them like family and they are a family. And not only, not only your employees stay here, um, the people that work here, but your customers stay for a lifetime and generational, yes, right? We are, I, I'm one of those folks that the family come here for, you know, your prescriptions. And then, you know, next thing you know, your generations are, you're continuing that on. So talk a little bit about what you guys do. We'll start in the back and work our way forward. Because what I learned today is not only do you do humans, but you also do pharmacy work and compounding for animals. Yes, we do. We do uh, equine. We do dogs, we do cats, and also people. And that's all done in the lab, which not a lot of people know is up there. They have three floors here. Is the lab on one? Which floor is the lab third. on? The third floor. Okay, the third floor that no one has seen. I just saw somebody going upstairs. I thought, oh my gosh, they have a third floor. That's awesome. This place is huge. So, guys, you also deliver, and you do daily deliveries, and you do things like support Daisy Hill and other facilities where people can't get out and drive. Can you talk a little bit about that service? Yes, we do med trays weekly for Daisy Hill, but not only just Daisy Hill. We do it for people in the community, shut-ins. You know, they can't get, they can't take care of their own medications, so we do those. Ricky delivers every Tuesday, and we trade out trays. And we now have 50 trays. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. You it's guys a, are busy. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, we deliver every day. Uh, you don't have to be old or shut in or anything. If you want it delivered, we'll bring it to you. And, and you no, said free of charge, no charge. right? Right. Gosh. And you guys, I see on the counter you have a new cabinet. Yeah. Can you tell us about what's in that new cabinet? That is CBD oil. It's Laura's Mercantile. She is from Winchester. Um, I have not been to her facility, but Lola has. State-of-the-art facility. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And it's a great product, and it sells really well. Everybody seems to think it works good, so yeah. I love that you guys truly do your research. You know, anything that you put here, your name is behind it. The stamp of approval is on it. And that is not only with the pharmacy, but also with your food, right? Yes. <laughs> Uh, that would be Dixie <laughs> with the food. Um, Robin, this place, can you guys talk a little bit to, there's some pictures around. The aesthetics in here are so neat. It just kind of gives you that warm and fuzzy feeling when you come in. But you have some really cool memories and experiences here. Can you talk a little bit about what's on the walls and what these memories represent? Well, the prescription sign was hanging out front, and a semi took it down back in the 60s. So it stayed in the basement for... Till we till we bought, and then we had it re neoned and had it fixed, but obviously the neon is not working anymore. And then the two pictures are when the drugstore actually burned in 1961. Uh, it was December 18th, uh, cold Christmas. Lexington came and helped fight the fire. The firemen had actual 
their mustaches and their beards froze. Um, lots of memorabilia that customers bring me. All the old bottles and just so from pharmacy from here. From a lot of it was from from like when it was Duncan Drug, when it was Berryman Drug, um, Maddox and Slaughter. So people find stuff in their garages and they're like, here, you want this? And I'm like, well, yeah, <laughs> sure. That's awesome. So. And a fun fact that people may not know is you guys not only have this place, but next door is a B&B, &B, right? Yes. And so people absolutely. can come and stay with you. Yes. I have guests that just left this morning. They, they came for the Horsey 100 and I ended up giving them ideas. They went to... Castle and Key, they went to the state, they went to Woodford Reserve. They promote Woodford County too. Yes. Mm -hmm. They ate at the Rolling Oven, so we try to make sure that I have all the stuff over there so they can know what goes on downtown. And speaking of tourism, you guys also are the home to the Horse Country Mural on the side of your building. Uh, yes, we are. <laughs> very proud of that. Yes, yes. very proud. That's such a gem for downtown. We so appreciate you guys being so generous to let us have that space to be able to showcase all the great horse farms that we have. Um, it's a great tool for people with the QR code. Um, just what a great op photo op even as well. Oh, oh, people stop and take pictures of it all the time. I was just honored that they asked us. I and mean, we were more than glad to do it because it's beautiful. Yes. And I knew if Steve Starrier was doing it, it would be beautiful. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So. <laughs> it, it matches the brand of Cornerstone, though. Everything, like I said, is just first class. They do everything best of class here. And, of course, the family-owned uh, feel and how the business is truly run is truly incredible, guys. This is not only called Cornerstone, but it truly is the cornerstone to our downtown and to our community. And we cannot be more proud to have them. So, Robin, sh Lola, should we go over and ask Dixie what I she's got cooking today? Should. All right, let's go. Today's lunch plate is two chili dogs, chip, and a pickle. We make our own chili sauce. All of our soups are made. We make our own chicken salad and pimento cheese. Hand-dipped milkshakes. Best place to come in town. Tell us about those milkshakes. Because, I mean, the hand-dip is, kind of, is really special, right? Well, I'm going to make one here in just a minute if you want to watch. Oh, absolutely. I'm in for it. Okay. And how do you do, tell us a little bit about your, what else you have on the menu. Because each week, it's, each day is something special, right? Um, yesterday was Taco Tuesday. So we make a very special taco soup. It sells out every Tuesday. They keep calling and asking if we've got any left. So... <laughs> um, some of the recipes, like chicken noodle soup, um, we do homemade vegetable beef soup, chili, um, some kind of beans every day, brown or white, mixed. Um, we just do a lot of stuff from scratch. And have you started to know what people order every time they come in? Because you do get so many regulars, right? I can. <laughs> a few others <laughs> can. But uh, most of the time, I can tell you what you want. And if your wife ordered it, I can tell you what she wanted. <laughs> <laughs> So, guys, you can see this is truly pure Woodford County. Robin, you want to tell us if somebody has a question or they want to find you guys, what is the best way? Obviously, come to the corner of Main Street and Lexington Street, but how else do they get in touch with you guys? Just dial the phone. You don't get a recording. You get one of us to answer. So, call, call us anytime or stop by. Have we missed anything that you guys want to share with our viewers? I don't think so. Just Perfect. come on in. Eat. Get your prescriptions. I love you that. Milkshake and your, and your prescriptions all the way out the door. Which you, That's right. To call it drugs and grub. <laughs> <laughs> drugs and grub. I love that. And as Robin says, just come on in. All right, guys. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.